I'm not sure why I'm printing Springtrap FNAF uh, character. Uh, it was since you can buy these in the store, um, and they'll probably be a lot better quality than anything I'm going to do. But I've been asked to do something FNAF, so... Uh, one thing I'm doing different is I am making him glow in the dark. Uh, sure. Maybe that'd be cool. I do do requests. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, everybody's been asking me to do something FNAF, and... Uh, Springtrap was one of the requests. This is, um, oh, I'll have to look up his name. Uh, his blender model, and I am going to tear it apart and build it from scratch. So, taking everything off except for the hands. The hands are all part of the skeleton. Um, try to print the skeleton first, <clears throat> and then put the body armor around him as I like to call it. Um, it's just the pieces of the body which are all separated out here and I'll print them separate in glow-in-the-dark PLA. Um, the interior I'm just going to print as is. Let's see. can't see the sun blinding me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the progress of it so far. Just check out how Springtrap's inner structure is doing here. Um, again, I wish I had gray PLA or gray, yeah. If I could have done gray and painted some parts red, might have been uh, a little easier. Again, dual extruder. One of these days will work better. So, we're just going to see what happens. I don't know. And the detail on this thing is is crazy. I know I shouldn't even be trying to record any audio when I've got all these distractions around me, but that's all I can do with these videos, and I apologize for that because there's never a time where it's quiet in this house or anywhere in my life. So, uh, well, that's what you get. But, um, yeah, trying to print, and hi, how are you? Where are my filaments going in? And, uh, yeah, this printer's getting old and ragged. For a few-year-old printer, it really shakes the heck out of itself. But, um, still works. And I don't know, this three millimeter filament versus my other printers, one and three quarters, that's a real pain in the butt to keep going back and forth and having to buy two different filaments. Um, yeah, I wish there was a way to free extrude it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So I know the paint um, job is somewhat to be desired. A lot of this is going to get covered up by his suit that goes on outside, so I didn't bother painting it. Um, there's probably more red than there should be, and maybe the silver or the gray should be more silvery. Um, the hands are already basically finished at this point, and I think I'm going to start with a mask and work my way down on all the body parts in glow in the dark. Um, I'm going to try the mask right now, and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether or not I complete this project. And, uh, yeah, so another project that I probably won't even bother completing. But we'll see. If this gets more than, well, right now I'll say 20,000-ish views, then I complete it. If not, it just gets scrapped. So if you guys can make me a 44-year-old FNAF fan, it's a lot of F's in there, then maybe uh, I'll finish Springtrap. But, yeah, yeah it was fun, challenge, and that's about it. Did I get ya? Huh, huh? Did I? Did I?